Okay, so this is the Mandalorian Battle Pack. This set came out in uh, January 2011. It is 68 pieces, um, obviously not a very large set, um, and 12 US dollars still on sale as of now, which is May. Uh, I believe it's the 11th today, May 11th, 2011. So, pretty nice little set. Um, not a whole lot to it. It is a battle pack. Um, but this is one of the, the three sets I got just so I could get a Shadow ARF Trooper. And uh, I'll get to that in a second here. But first of all, you get four Mandalorians. Um, and they're all exactly the same. They're all identical. But I'll show you this guy real quick. Nice little um, figure. There's his face right there. Um, the only thing uh, I really don't like about these figures um, as you can see, his face um, looks a lot like the clone faces, um, in my opinion. Obviously the eyes are different, but everything else is kind of similar to the clones, which kind of irritates me. Um, just because the Mandalorians are supposed to be individual people and not um, have any relation to the clones uh, whatsoever. But uh, you get four of these little guys. Um, pretty nice armor detail, uh, and they have little jet packs as well. So, pretty nice little setup. Uh, this guy's got a big gun that he carries around, um, and uh, he can hold it like this, or you can actually set it up um, on its little bipod like that, so it's more like a turret. Um, and I bet you actually, hold on, I bet you could actually get him. There we go. So I bet you could actually get him to hold it like that. So, there's that first guy. Uh, second guy has the kind of commander pistols that you see on some of the uh, the newest clones. Um, but uh, like I said, exactly the same figure. Third guy has a, a long rifle. Um, like that. And uh, this fourth guy that's just a traditional blaster, but he is on this little stand. Um, and basically all this is is just a mounted gun. Uh, and it spins 360 degrees. Uh, like so. So, But uh, all in all, not bad. And then the, the last thing here is you get this little glider, speeder kind of thing. Um, and basically you can just have one guy riding on this thing, like so. And it's kind of tricky to get him to sit up on here, because they're jetpacks, so you have to kind of stick his hands in, and then push him forward, like that. But uh, he will balance just, you can see it's kind of easy to even to tip over. But uh, it is a battle pack, I mean it's not like a big, <laughs> but like a, you're, you're spending a lot of money on a big, big set. Um, so there is that. Uh, let me show you something real quick um, while I have that out. I know some of you were wondering uh, if he looks a lot like Jango Fett. Um, and there is Jango Fett. You can see pretty big difference there. So not really a, uh, a Jango Fett clone. Um, this new armor style is a lot more like uh, new Boba Fett, and I can actually go grab him for you so you can see. One second. Basically, just a uh, the Mandalorians are basically just a repaint of the new Boba Fett mold. Uh, you can see they have the same jetpacks, the same helmet molds, just um, different color, just different paint apps obviously, but um, basically the same uh, same thing, but uh, not really the new Jango Fett, uh, but I, I mean I suppose if they did a new Jango Fett, which they probably will eventually, um, it would be of this new mold, this new helmet and jetpack mold, so there's that for you guys. So a nice little set, um, I would say not as good as the clone battle pack. Uh, just because you don't get as unique uh, minifigures uh, as you do like the 
ARF trooper um, or the uh, orange clone commandos or um, stuff like that but also the little speeder and the gun turret are not as cool as the uh, the speeder bike that you get in the clone battle pack but not bad I mean it's only a $12 set um, for 68 pieces though and $12 it's not the best value for money but like I said the only reason I got the three sets I did is so I could get this right here which is the Shadow ARF Trooper. You can see he's still in his bag. Um, and uh, one of my, one of you guys commented that you bought one of these at the Lego store. They had them on sale for two days. Uh, you can't get this anywhere else now. So if you're seeing this live now, um, you missed out. You can see there's that helmet. Get that in focus there. There's the shadow helmet versus the traditional helmet. Um, but basically this was a promotion May 3rd and May 4th of last week, and I tried to let you guys know in time. But anyways, one of you guys commented, I don't remember who it was, and you said your guy, your shadow ARF trooper came with no head. Um, and mine does, as you can see. There's clearly a head in there. So I don't know why yours didn't. Uh, you know who you are. But um, mine does, so that was just kind of like a miss. I don't know what you call it, like a, a, a factory error. But, um, and before you ask, uh, am I going to keep him out and keep him in his package? Probably yes. Um, just because he's very rare, they only made, these were only on sale for two days. So I'm going to keep him in his little sealed package, um, keep him exclusive there. So there's that, pretty cool. Um, so Mandalorian Battle Pack, nice little set. Um, if you want some, uh, some cool little little figures, definitely worth uh, 12 bucks. Um, however, if you're trying to decide which battle pack to get, the clone one is going to be better. You get these nice standard ARF troopers, um, which is still a very nice helmet mold. Uh, and the paint apps are really good on it as well. Um, so, And four clones, uh, in my opinion, are better than four Mandalorians, because the Mandalorians aren't in any other set. Um, and that doesn't really make them rare in this case, it just makes them random. Uh, because it's such a cheap set. It's only $12, so if it was more expensive, I would say go for it because they're rare, but because it's just kind of a, a, a small set with no purpose, um, I would go for the Clone Battle Pack, but there's nothing wrong with this one, so hopefully you guys enjoyed that. Uh, new videos next week as well, uh, or new updates as well. Um, new reviews in the next couple weeks, and then... Uh, Gonna start reviewing some old sets again. Uh, also, let me know what you think of my new setup. Um, this is the first time I've filmed on this kind of new setup that I'm doing. Um, it takes a little bit more time for me to get it set, but I think it's gonna look a lot better. Uh, when I get to reviewing very large sets, um, I may go back to my traditional uh, setting where you guys have seen a lot of my videos on that table. Um, just because obviously this isn't a very big area, so. All that uh, to come and more. Uh, let me guys know what you think. Uh, please subscribe and thank you for watching.